Welcome to Pregnancy and Postpartum TV. Today we are hanging out in my bathroom talking all about period cups or menstrual cups. How to wear them comfortably, how to wear them leak free and without any mess. Honestly, I've been wearing mine for about a year. I cannot imagine going back. I love it now. However, in the beginning, I did not love it. I found it a little bit uncomfortable and I kept on having leaks, which would make a mess. And obviously that was not what I wanted. So now I've figured out how to do it leak free. I'm going to share those tips with you today. So first of all, we want to have clean hands for the insertion. There are three different folds you can use. I just use the C fold where I basically fold it in half and insert it. I either do it in the shower or you can do it with one leg up on the toilet or you can do it sitting on the toilet. You can also do the punch down where you take the rim, punch it down to the bottom and then squeeze it and this makes the smallest way to insert it. And then there's also the seven fold where you fold the top down and you can insert it like that. So play around with it. Um, but when you get it in, you wanna make sure that you feel it pop out. So what I wasn't doing is I wasn't checking to make sure that my cervix was fully covered. So you want to, what I do now is I insert it, let it pop, and then I turn it once full in each direction. And then I stick my finger up around the rim and sometimes I can feel my cervix popping out of the side. And so I would just pull it out and up a little bit, not all the way out. I would just pull it down a little bit, adjust it, and make sure that my cervix is completely covered. If you can feel the section and no folds or dents in the side, it's going to prevent leaking. I only change mine twice per day because you can leave it in for 12 hours. So when I'm having my shower in the morning, it's nice and clean and easy way to do that. You can actually squat over the drain to pull it out and just empty it quickly. And then you can put it back in the shower. At nighttime, I just do it sitting on the toilet. And a tip for if you're using the toilet is to, before you empty it in the other hand, have a piece of toilet paper ready. Because when you go to empty it with one hand, sometimes it can be a little bit stringy, especially on the first day of your period and if it's stringy you're not going to be able to get it to the sink or get toilet paper it's hard to get toilet paper with one hand so if you have the toilet paper ready you can just easily wipe it and then put it in the sink and you're good to go i hope you found that video helpful let me know what your experience is using a period cup or a menstrual cup or if you'd like to try one in the comments below and of course i will keep making pregnancy and postpartum workout pilates and yoga every week if you like videos like these subscribe and hit the notification bell